Emily, thank you for the update on the decision today from the Iowa Supreme Court. Of course, emotions on both sides are running high. It's always a controversial issue. With that in mind, KWWL reporter Daniel Perot, he's across the street from the studio right now in Lincoln Park. Reaction from Iowans to the big decision and a protest and demonstration about to get underway behind you. Ron, a solidarity circle for Planned Parenthood is underway here at Lincoln Park in downtown Waterloo. One of several events that is taking place across the state right now. As anti-abortion rights advocates rejoice over the decision, those for abortion rights are expressing disappointment and calling this a dark day for the state. It's a monumental win for Iowa women, for Iowa families, for babies. From Iowans who are anti-abortion rights, jubilation. A baby is a unique and distinct person from its mother and it deserves protection under our law. For Iowans on the other side. It's a devastating day. In roughly three weeks, most abortions in Iowa will be illegal. People will be forced to carry pregnancies against their will, seek abortion outside of the healthcare system, or bear the financial burden of traveling hundreds or thousands of miles for care. Planned Parenthood says they will continue to provide abortion care under the law and do what they can to get patients in before the cutoff. We will provide access to abortion care in Iowa if no cardiac activity is detected. I believe that we're going to see a worsening of health care in Iowa. Dr. Emily Bavers, a Waverly OBGYN and Iowans for Health Liberty co-founder, says she may recommend more patients seek care outside Iowa. Unfortunately, pregnancy is a very difficult and dangerous condition that can affect people unpredictably. As anti-abortion rights groups celebrate a landmark victory, advocates say there's more work to do. We're gonna to continue to strive towards that goal to eliminate abortion from the state of Iowa altogether. Abortion rights groups say their fight isn't over. We're focused and we're ready to continue the battle to restore dignity, bodily autonomy, and access to full spectrum reproductive health care. Planned Parenthood and the Emma Goldman Clinic say they've spent the last several months preparing for exactly this moment, including putting resources in place to help Iowans navigate and find services outside the state if they need it, and expanding locations that are close to the Iowa border. Live in downtown Waterloo, Daniel Pro News 7, KWWL. All right, Daniel, thanks for the update tonight. You're over at Lincoln Park. Appreciate the report.